I've been out for a family picnic day, coming around a bend downhill in the dirt and back of our car just slowly slid out. But unfortunately, just the angle we were on and the way the car hit, it just caused us to roll. So I rolled over a couple of times and that's where we ended up on the roof. I was trapped, ended up being trapped for an hour and a half. The kids were able to get out and um, yeah, I had to wait for the emergency services to come and cut me out. Dad was trapped in the car and it was on its like, top and it was pretty scary. We couldn't pull Dad out. Um, he taught us generally how to use the emergency bus app and then me and Lachlan walked for like two and a half kilometres until we got service and then we called Triple Zero Vive app. We had shown the children the app before but I made sure that they knew exactly what they were going to be doing when they got there. It's quick, it's accurate, we can respond uh, emergency services to the location. And, and we've had many of those sorts of examples in, in regional areas or perhaps bushland and trails where people, they, they know their destination, they might be familiar with the track, but when something happens and an emergency response is required, trying to describe that area to an operator or, or give an exact location is, is quite often very difficult. It's often the same as we go about our daily lives. You might be travelling along a major motorway. Uh, certainly you're aware of your destination, you may have travelled the road many times, but if you had to stop uh, perhaps a serious motor vehicle accident in, in front of you, what was the last town? What's the, the town you're approaching? Perhaps uh, you might be travelling from maybe Goulburn to Sydney. You know, exactly where are you th in relation to the Southern Highlands and the major townships if you had to describe it to an operator, a triple zero operator who, who may have to respond to ambulance and police and the like. So with the use of the app, it's very simple. It's free to download. You just go to your app store. It only takes you really a couple of minutes. Very basic to use. And on the front page, it'll immediately tell you your exact location in terms of the latitude and longitude. Uh, and you convey that to the operator and we were able to respond to emergency services appropriately. It's, it's a really terrific app in terms of its simplicity to use. Launched about a year ago now and we're starting to see a gradual take up. We've uh, released now, I think, about 120,000 downloads of the app. And, and we're hoping that that will now start to snowball as people become more aware of it and, and they hear through word of mouth perhaps. Uh, and we're also fortunate the RMS are going to release uh, in the vicinity of about six million flyers over the next year with, with registration and licence renewals and the like. So we really are hopeful that over the course of the next 12 months, we continue to develop the app in the background, that th this will take off. It's a great assistance to emergency services. Uh, and it also helps us with educating people on when to use particular services, triple zero versus uh, your police assistance line and the like. So there is information on the app also about you know, what service is the right one for you to make your inquiry on and wh which way we can provide you greatest assistance. Ever since it was invented I've told hundreds and hundreds of people about it. Ever since then I've been in hospital here, I've told them all. The guy in the bed next to me had an accident on Saturday, he had no idea where he was. He had a broken GPS that he was using and what he thought he was, he was 100 kilometres away. When I showed him where it was, showed him the app, he started crying. He said, this would have saved me hours and hours. So yeah, he was very thankful. He has since told his boss and his boss has made all of the drivers for his company install the app on their phone. So yeah, there's another 100 people just from that one conversation with him already. I was trapped. Without that, we would have had to wait for somebody, somebody to drive by. If they didn't have a phone that didn't work because we were remote, we would have had to wait for them to drive out, get service, call for help. And if they, I had no idea of the name of the road we were on, maybe they didn't either, so it could have taken even longer. But with that app, we were able to get an exact GPS location, which we was relayed to the operator, and there we were, straight away. Yeah, it was definitely saved time and may have saved my life. It's free, easy to download, easy to use.